And I'm ready, cause guess what I know for a fact? Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. My 600 Pounds Life is an American reality TV show air on TLC. It goes around the stories of morbidly obese individuals who weigh almost 600 or 270 kg. Dr. Nal is the main bariatric surgeon on the show who puts them on a strict diet and exercise pattern so they could lose weight. Dr. Nal, who is known as the best in the business for providing the best solution for his patient. These are the people at major life risk due to their extreme obesity. So, if they want to lose weight, they have to reach the goal assigned by Dr. Now, otherwise, they will not be qualified for weight loss surgery to live a normal life. However, some of the patients can be crazy and can infuriate doctors too. One of these beyond crazy patients is Lisa Fleming, and oh, that woman was something. Lisa Fleming's story and beyond crazy moments. Lisa Fleming Lisa Fleming from Alabama, Texas. When first appeared on the show, she weighed 709 pounds. Lisa had a pampering mother who would prepare the meal of her choice. At the age of nine, her parents got divorced and her brother was killed right before her eyes. To keep up with all that and to cope with such traumatic incidents, she started binge eating. According to her, she found her only comfort in the food. Not just that, she even started sneaking food behind her parents' back. Partners are supposed to show you the right and healthy path. But her boyfriend, Herbert, was playing the major role of her enabler feeding her to death, alongside weight gain trouble barging in. Lisa had trouble moving at all and was completely immobile. Her real struggles included being unable to move out of bed and barely being able to stand on her own, let alone walk. She had gotten to the point that maggots were found in the folds of her skin, which made her realize that she had to change her life around for good. Maggot is a small fly that deposits eggs under the skin and can cause skin diseases. She was also suffering from lip edema. To redeem herself, she came to Houston, Texas to seek Dr. Nozaradin's help. In the sixth season of My 600 Pound Life, when Fleming appeared on the show, Lisa weighed 704 pounds. At the start of the show, she was visited by Doc Now's nutritionist, who went to Lisa's place to assume her way of living. During her visit, Lisa acted like a total slug, especially when the nutritionist went over to her fridge and started to look in, which Lisa was crummy about. By the way, during her inception, she found a stash of junk food in the fridge, which included some donuts, two pizza rolls, ice cream, and lasagna. But she started acting as if she didn't know anything about it. So, let me see, because I didn't know Herbert went to the store today. She said that all these eating items belonged to her boyfriend, Herbert. But the nutritionist didn't seem to buy the statement and implied that even if it all belonged to Herbert, he also had to give up these as it was dangerous for both of them. And if he wants Lisa to get better so, both of them had to work together to which Lisa screamed, put it back. The weight loss regime was a mammoth for Lisa, and she found it very hard to keep up with it. When Dr. Nozaradin confronted her about her eating habits, she had an intense meltdown and shared that she was mentally not functioning well. One time, when the doctor now came in to check up on her, he asked her, So tell me how you've been getting along at home, but you haven't been walking about your eating habits. It seemed like he wanted to know how she had been doing. Lisa told him that she was having a hard time keeping up with the changes. Then she said, I'm trying to make changes of nothing. I couldn't afford to buy groceries in my pants and diapers and thought that I really needed it because it's either bad to buy groceries. I can only buy limited stuff on groceries I need over. Dr. Now was astounded to hear this as the whole point of decreasing groceries was to help decrease her weight and she was not losing any and was also complaining about the diet regime, he said to her. We can buy limited stuff on groceries. You'll be able to lose more weight. We should have been able to gain 100 pounds, but you look like you have lost weight. In fact, you look like you're back to over 700 pounds again and your body is likely worse than ever. To which she asserted that, I need help. I've been trying to say that the longest I need help I get nothing. I got no help on what to do, saying she was rankled now as the whole point of the show is to help people who are struggling with morbid obesity. He said to her, We know how we have given you everything Lisa down here we and the tool you need to lose weight and you wasted half a year, this is unacceptable and you're not able to get up you're not walking and we in the same thing you know, losing their way we give me a time to change me to happen. And what miracle you expecting to happen, 
You keep doing the same thing and telling me the same thing. Whereas Lisa kept on implying that she was getting no help by saying, I, when I, it's time to eat, I can't eat. You're not being hungry, it doesn't. What's up straight? I will eat. I'm so stressed out and I hate being in bed. I want to get up okay and need help okay. To which doctor responded, just hold on, you know, that the only way to get out of that is to eat less. You eat more because you stressed, which part of that makes any sense between you two. I told you that ain't gonna help to eat the proper amount of calorie to lose weight. And there's no way around it because you go home and you don't need property and come here and give me the same story. How much of that story I'm gonna believe? Doctor now saying this made Lisa crackle, she started screaming that she can do it anymore. And there's no point in being part of the procedure. Just wanted to go home. She kept repeating, just send me back to Alabama. Leave me alone, this is not helping me. I don't know what else to do with myself, so I eat. I can't help it. Watching her flip, doctor said. She was right about going back, as they were trying to help by providing tools, but she was not doing her bit at all. And there was no point in wasting any energy over it. Whereas Lisa was losing it, she left, that nobody cared about her, and she knew what to do anymore. She felt that she failed her family and loved ones. Doctor kept saying that she was acting like this because she wanted to get back to her former life and was not determined enough to go on. Certain crazy moments on the show made Lisa want a lit nutcase on the show. Lisa dropped out of the show in the sixth month and did not complete her weight loss intent. However, it was reported by Lisa's daughter that even after leaving the show, she almost lost 200 pounds on her own. And she walked on her own after years and her children were happy to see her. Before she came on the show before her surgery, Lisa was very sick and was not doing so well. Danielle, one of her daughters, said, In the end, she was sick and her body was tired and her body just gave out. On August 23, 2018, Lisa died of illness at the age of 50 in Texas. And because of her obesity, it took seven paramedics to lift Lisa out of her bed and into a waiting ambulance so she could be taken to the hospital. Danielle Fleming shared the news on Facebook saying, I am truly at a loss for words right now, she wrote. God knows I wanted you to hold on until I got here, but he knew what was best for me. I didn't need to see you like that. This morning I sat and held your hand for four hours, knowing nothing I could have done would bring you back to me. When Danielle was asked about her mother's death, she said it was not due to her obesity. Just like other people who showed up on the show, Lisa also had a heartbreaking story. Her snapping out moments led us to tears. Lisa Fleming was just 49 and she weighed 704 pounds when she started her journey with my 600 pounds life. Fleming's condition was the result of her hard childhood. On the show, she shared how she started as a regular child, having fun, doing things, playing, but soon her life started crashing and she grew up to be a millish and unyielding woman who was driving herself to death. She revealed that how she was raised by loving parents in a loving household. But when her partners got divorced, she found that the only way to keep up with life was eating her way through it. She alluded to her childhood by saying, I remember this one time, I asked for some cake and she wouldn't give it to me. I didn't understand so I just stuck my finger in and rubbed all the icing off the cake. She also told how her parents over pampered her and told that once her mother caught her eating cake and my mother said, I had to finish it all on my own. Fleming admitted she knew that I was slowly rotting because of my weight as I was completely bedridden. I didn't want to die from obesity just like my mother. Fleming admitted during the show, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm not looking forward to having the paramedics move me out of this bed. It took seven paramedics to shift Lisa from her bed into the ambulance and in at herb time at Dr. Nauza Hospital even knowing what was she going through and all of the eating was causing what sort of threat to her she didn't seem to give her all she was looking for excuses. She had food speaking in for her by her boyfriend, which led her to her tragic end. That's all for today's viewers with Lisa Fleming's story and beyond crazy moments from my 600 pounds life. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, leave a comment below and rub the like button hard. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for our latest videos.